Hello everyone, Iris Franz here. Today we're going to continue to talk about economic growth. In this clip, I'm going to talk about how to calculate growth rate as well as the rule of 72. So here is how we calculate growth rate. We have the new number minus O number and divide the whole thing by the O number. Then that will be the growth rate. Let's take a look at the example. So for example, GDP growth rate, we have the GDP of year two minus the GDP of year one divided by the GDP of year one. Then we get the GDP growth rate. For example, if we have a country whose uh, GDP in year one was say 100 billion and in year two GDP was 105 billion, then the growth rate will be 105 minus 100 divided by 100. So that gives you 0 0.05 or 5% 5 of GDP growth rate. And we are going to use exactly the same formula if you are calculating, say, the growth rate of GDP per capita, you use exactly the same formula. So let's look at the question. So um, suppose this is a data of a Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. I actually got a data from there. And here is a GDP growth from April 2020 to April 2021. Now, if you remember, April 2020 was the beginning of a lockdown. So we were in a recession. So you can see that April 2021, the GDP was a lot higher than in April 2020. So if you calculate the GDP growth rate, what is that? Now you can pause the video and then calculate, then you can compare answer with me. Now we can compare our answer. So we know the growth rate is equal to the new number minus the old number divided by the old number. And if you calculate that, you will see that our growth rate in GDP from April 2020 to April 2021 was 16%. And that's very high because, well, in April 2020, we're in lockdown. And uh, if you're interested, you can definitely take a look at Federal Reserve of St. Louis website. They have uh, lots of data if you want to do research. And here is another question from the textbook. So suppose our um, GDP per capita was 18,000 in 2010 and 18,750 in 2021, then what is the percentage change? What is the growth rate? So you want to pause the video right now and try this question yourself, and then we can compare answer. Now, assume you have finished that. So we use the new number, 18,750 minus the old number, 18,000, divided by old number, 18,000, then you're going to get a growth rate, 4.16%. Next, I'm going to talk about how to use rule of 72. So here, the rule of 72 is a rule of sum. It's an estimation. Approximately how many periods does it take for your wealth to double? So how do we calculate that? Here is the rule of 72. The time to double is approximately equal to 72 divided by your growth rate. So for example, if your growth rate of your wealth is 1% per year, then the time to double your wealth is approximately equal to 72 divided by 1, which is 72 years. If you do the actual math, then um, it will be 100 times 1.01 .01 to the power of 72. Then you're going to get 204.71, which is approximately 200. So it tells you, hey, the rule of 72 is approximately correct. It takes approximately 72 years for your wealth to double. Now, what happens if your growth rate is 2% instead of 1%? Then again, use the rule of 72. You do 72 divided by 2, which is 36. 
So it takes 36 years approximately for your wells to double. If you do the math, 100 times 1.02 to the power of 36, so 36 years, then you get 203.99, which is approximately 200. So you can see again, the rule of 72 works, it is approximately correct. Now with the rule of 72, it's a lot easier to calculate the number of years it requires to double the wells. So if your growth rate is a 1%, then it takes 72 divided by one, which is 72 years to double the wealth. If your growth rate is 2%, then it takes 36 years to double the wealth or GDP. So that will be 72 divided by two, which gives you 36. And what about if your growth rate is at 3%, then the rule of 72 tells you it takes approximately 72 divided by three, which is 24 years to double your wealth or GDP, and so on and so forth. So with the rule of 72, it's a lot faster to calculate approximately how many years it takes for your wealth or your GDP to double. Now with the rule of 72, what if your growth rate is 8%? How many years does it take for your wealth to double? Using the rule of 72, you will do 72 divided by eight. That gives you approximately nine years. So this is the rule of 72. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.